All right. So I need to buy my Slayer staff, actually. So we're going to be buying it. 21,000 GP for the Slayer dart, because I believe it's going to be my best chance to kill Ohm with a magic. So yeah, Slayer dart. Who would ever think I would Slayer dart Ohm? But yes, we're going to do it. We're going to try it. So let's buy it. 55 Slayer. We're done it. We've done it now. So that is the broad arrows that I can actually use in places. All right, so I'm actually going to clear out the alka bowls that I do already have. I double check to make sure I kept, you know, a single one of the more important stuff. I need as much money as possible, you know, I, I need to buy the death runes and stuff and the broad arrows. So they're going to cost quite a lot. 200,000 GP plus 80k. Mm, I need more money, but hopefully by the time I get you know to the stats that I want through Slayer, I'll have um, enough money. Th dude, this guy got a freaking third age mage hand, bro. Are you serious? Oh, this is so much easier with the the right stats, bro. I'm just shredding the freaking Sarah Wizard. Finally, I don't have to do any cheap strats to do this. Okay, spin for the win. Alright boys, let's go. Here we go. What number is this? I don't even know. Whoa, rune pickaxe! Holy shit, that's so good. Rune axe too? Hell yeah, and the nature runes and the law runes. Whew, not bad, not bad, dude. I just gained two best in slot items, dude. Two of them. I was uh, rocking the Addy axe, I was rocking my iron pickaxe, so yeah. Yes, I just hit 70 attack. Alright. That's awesome. It's time for me to finally uh, start working on some defense. Gotta get that 60 for the D-man, you know? Alright, so I'm trying to uh, get the herb level 38 to make prayer pots. I think I really need it for raids. It's just an in, you know intuition thing. So I'm trying to unlock 65 uh, farming for the second herb patch because I need to be able to Maximize my uh, my herb blur grind today, so I need to do as many farm runs with herb seeds as possible. So, yeah, we're doing a uh, tight farm sixty five. So yeah, man, should be done in an hour or so. All right, so the first Bologano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct me on the YouTube comments, okay? Oh, a hundred thousand, dude. Sixty farming. I do one more run. Oh, I can grow up snake grass. That's sick. That's really good. I'm gonna do that. I can do one more run and I should be done. There it is. 65 farming. Yes. Mid tier access. That's so good. Ah, now I can finally use the second herb patch. This is gonna be crucial, you know, to get this herb level going. What, what route you take, you know, will change things. Okay, here it is. The 70 range, I can finally actually have a pretty decent looking setup. Woo, baby! I, I'm missing a Vamp Races though, but hopefully uh, I'll get 65 Slayer today and try to get one off Dust Devils. But yeah, man, this is pretty much the setup for uh, Ohm though, for the most part. Oh yes, there it is, the 60 defense, bro. Hell yeah, brother. Look at me, dude. The true DMET champion. 60 Slayer, okay. I was gonna say Herbler for some reason. But I can kill uh, the Spectres, the Abhorrent ones maybe for Herbs. If I run low, I can, you know, maybe try to kill some. But yeah, I reckon I might have enough already for the farming. 70 Magic, awesome. Alright. Yo, the strat of the century. But yeah, that's nuts, man. I can just buy 50. Open, close. Restocks back to full at lowest price by 50. Repeat. And so begins the quest to get 38 Herbler. I have uh, a decent assortment of herbs. Let's open this up, boys. Oh! Yo! That is fucking nuts. Yo! I just got the magic gloves. Hell yeah, brother! Oh yeah, I'm bringing that to raids. Holy shit! Damn, insult blood veils are ten thousand. So good. Nice, fifty-eight prayer from those twelve uh, insult heads. 
Up to 58. Cool. Alright, a thousand broad arrows. I think that's good enough. So I just finished all the easy diary. And yeah. This is really good because the Rata's Blessing actually has uh, three daily teleports to the woodland area, which is kind of nice. You know, I go here occasionally. But yeah, the main thing is... Oh, also the prayer bonus, but... The main thing is this antique lamp, bro. Oof, put this on herbal right away. 12,500 EXP. Give me 40 herbal. And the ability to make... Yeah, super attacks, which is good. Because that's probably one of my best uh, herbal training methods for a while. I think we're gonna just use... We're gonna bring about like... 6 prayer pots. An attempt to start off, because I need them for like... I just need them because the fights are going to take so long uh, on some of the planned routes that I plan to take for the attempt during some of the boss fights that I need the prayer pots. Best freaking sulfur lizard has ever. About 90 kills, 56 nature runes, hell yeah. I think I think it'll be in, in my best interest to just get this 80 magic out of the way. Alright, this is going to be the last book for uh, 80 magic. As you can see, I'm getting like 900k an hour type of deal, so yeah, it was really, really easy. That'll be worth a get before uh, the raids attempt, because I can get an extra max hit with the Slayer Dart, so. Alright, I'm fully geared for my first attempt. So this is the gear. We got ourselves a decent melee setup here. I'm not going to be doing a lot of melee, actually, until Ulm, so I, br I bring the Battle Axe. Instead of the Skims. I don't think it's worth two extra space. Uh, yeah, we got the range with MSB and uh, Broad Arrows. And uh, Cerisians with the Slayer Staff Switch with the Slayer Dart. So. And some food. I'm going to need these purple sweets probably for some tick eating. It's going to be really important. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. I got stacked out. I mean, it was going good, but I got stacked out by the, by the freaking minions. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, I found the exact layout that I'm looking for after that failed attempt. Muted down, Deving, Vanguard's Fispila, Craps. Boom, baby. This is the raid. Holy shit. We just failed the first one, but we found the, we found the layout that we're looking for. Alright. My food. That was really unlucky, though. So way too much damage. So yeah, the thieving room is gonna give me some bats, which is really really good. Nice. Yes. Ah, oh, that took a while, but we got it. Dang, these guys didn't drop any overloads. Oh fuck, I died. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. Although dealing with the poison is not gonna be easy though. That's that's gonna be the biggest issue. Oh I found it again. Yes! I found the layout again. Ooh, except this layout is more aids. Ooh. But this layout's not bad. This is definitely gonna be an okay one to do. For sure. All I have to do is make sure Fispila uh well if I can clear Mira down, that's that's gonna be Always a Mon Monka S thing. I should be able to clear this mid out of room no matter what. Because there's bats that I can use. That I can catch. I think. Yeah, there's bats. Okay, cool. Yeah, you want the you want the high tier ones. Those are the good ones. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Oh, f**k. Damn it, man. That's just so annoying. About forgot about that auto attack. Alright, I got it. Oh, I died! What?! Oh, wait, what?! Oh, okay, well, apparently MSB, long range, can actually reach shamans. Alright, 
I'm kind of glad that I took this uh, experiment because since uh, if I do the shamans and I trap them like this, it's pretty free. So I can look for shaman, muted dial, vanguards. I can't really do Fespila if I get pink spikes. The worlds are so crowded. So, so I can probably just avoid Fespila altogether. This one, I mean, the supply is still there. You know, I still get the supplies from vanguards. That's so good. I needed those. Bad. Yeah, two and a half overloads. Okay, three revitalizations, one and a half per enhances, and all the other extra combat potions. Oh, okay, a long last. We've made it to the home. Took us several hours of attempts and trials and errors, but you know, we got here, so. Oh, nice. I can actually hit a 20. Okay, so it doesn't matter right now if my mage is any higher other than accuracy. One not being me. Yes! Oh man, that took so freaking long, but we cleared the first phase. Three more to go. Yes, we cleared our second phase. We have cleared the second phase. Oh. Oh, yes. No! Oh. Damn it, dude. Jeez. And what I'll do is I'll lure this guy over here and I have a strange fruit. So even if he hits me and he poisons me, it doesn't really matter because I'll reset once I have him lured. So. Yo, these fish heal 17, my guy. That is so freaking good, dude. Alright. This should be easy then to uh, clear the agility room that we have. Alright, round two of Ohm, pretty much. And this time, we are even better looking. In terms of, you know, inventory. Uh, three overloads, which, you know, I would probably only use two, but just, just in case. Alright, I'm not, I'm not gonna kill this hand first, I'm just gonna chill. I'll get one more hit on it. Oh my god. Fuck. That was scary. Monka S. I'm just gonna let it hit. Dang it! Ah, fuck, dude! It healed 40. Oh, that was a nice Michael Jackson move there. I gotta eat up. It's okay, I got a brew, so. That's delayed. Oh, come on, bro. We went through hell for that one. Come on, bro. What? Yes! Woo! Oh, god damn, bro. My hands are fucking shot from that. Oh, Jesus. MSP is too rough, dude. Oh, we did it, bro, on the second home, but... Oh, Jesus. That was ridiculous, man. Oh, we got some Lizardman Fangs. That's not bad at all, dude. I'll take the Lizardman Fangs, dude. That is 745 teleports. Oh, what was this? 64 Aventos, bro? That's not bad. I can make some fishing potions, but... Alright, so how many points do I get for this? Damn, I had 640 points saved up. Okay, that was not all from the, the solo, uh, from the solo raid. But yeah, man, I really want to get a tier 5 relic, dude. Uh, for sure. Tier 5 relic is so good for, for just everything. So, uh, I'm currently at 3,510. So, uh, throughout the next, I don't know, few days, I, I want to get the 1500. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll have five, uh, 5,000 points for the tick reduction relic, which is amazing. As far as I'm aware, I am the third person in the Twisted League to have completed a Deathless Solo Raid. And 
that's pretty cool considering the day before there was only one person that was able to do it and that was Wooks. So yeah, man, I'll take I'll take the third place, man. Pretty happy with that. But I definitely want to go back and do some more raids because who doesn't want to get a purple? Uh, as far as where I'm going to stop for the Swiss League, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I feel like at least getting the purple would be pretty good closing. But there might be some other things I might want to do. Stuff like perhaps a challenge mode or, or whatever. We shall see. So there will be more Twisted League videos as I am just having way too much fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and get a Rune 2H next time. And get a Rune Crossbow. So that way our solo ohms are a bit better. Basically, slowly becoming more efficient at these solo raids. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like. Make sure to subscribe. And ring the bell if you don't want to miss on the next Twisted League progress on Iron Bar. And if you want to see the action live, I stream the Twisted League progress on twitch.tv slash Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.